I'm Coyote Peterson. That's a baby black bear. He may look adorable, and I'll tell you what, he's a real firecracker. One of the greatest destinations to experience wildlife is the state of Montana. From fish and fowl to some of North America's top predators, you stand the chance of seeing it all. And while most encounters happen from a distance, adventure seekers do sometimes find themselves up close and personal. Today we're getting the chance to work with Bucky, a seven month old black bear cub who lost his mother and is now being raised in captivity to serve as an ambassador for his species. There's no denying it, Bucky is downright adorable, as are all bear cubs, and it's not completely uncommon to stumble upon one while out hiking. And while it might seem like a once in a lifetime moment to snap a bear selfie, we must remind you that no matter how heart meltingly cute a bear cub may be, never approach one in the wild. Let's go up here and try to get a closer look at this unique little bear. And they are curious, very curious bears. He sees my camera and he says, all right, what is that? Is that something that I can eat? And the answer to that is no. Now you see this black bear and you think to yourself, how adorable is he? And you might see him out in the wild and think, okay, I'm gonna approach that bear to get a closer look. That is a really bad idea. Very rarely do you see a bear cub where mother is not close by. A lot of times people are attacked by mother black bears because people try to get close to the cubs. They think the mother's either left the cub or that they can just sneak in and get up close to the bear and pet it. This bear cub may be adorable, but I still have to give it the respect that it deserves. It gets up on its hind feet, and it's one formidable little predator. Now, black bears come in a variety of colors. Of course, this one is black, but you can see he's got some lighter brown fur on his back there. And all these tufts that you see puffing up, that's his summer coat blowing out and the winter coat getting ready to come in. And the black version of the black bear always has a tannish looking muzzle. And you can see on Bucky here, that distinct coloration is already starting to grow in. A black bear is the smallest species of bear here in the United States and in North America. Trumped, of course, by the grizzly and then up north, the polar bear. One interesting difference between black bears and grizzly bears is that grizzlies have this famous hump on their backs. Now, black bears don't have that. Oftentimes, people mistake the cinnamon version or the brown version of the black bear for a grizzly. Now, black bears don't get as big as grizzly bears, and the quickest way to be able to identify a brown black bear is to look for that hump on the back. No hump, it's not a grizzly. A bear of this size is actually susceptible to predators. Just because he's a bear doesn't mean that things aren't out there after him. Now if something came after this bear, let's say a grizzly or a pack of wolves, his first means of escape would be up a tree. And black bears are incredible climbers. And this baby here could speed up the side of a tree the faster you can snap your fingers. Now these bears can live on average about 30 years. And that's of course if they make it past being a cub and don't run into any predators. Now once this bear is full grown, pretty much the only predator that it has is man. You know, wolves aren't gonna mess with a bear. Uh, grizzlies will occasionally fight with black bears, but most of the time they drive each other off with roars and posturing and basically say, this is my territory, black bear. You better keep moving. I certainly have never been this close to a black bear before. Uh, it's really easy to let your guard down. Now, obviously he's pretty content foraging around here on the ground, but I still have to respect the fact that he's got some pretty big paws. And on those paws, claws about this big. And then of course a bite force as powerful as a German Shepherd. Yeah, that's not something that I'm ready to mess with. So right now this bear is going through hyperphagia, which means it wants to gorge on as much food as possible so it can build up its fat reserves to hibernate for the winter. And what Bucky's doing right now is foraging around looking for little marshmallows that we've hidden. But these bears in the wild can smell prey miles away. And they say that their smelling capabilities are almost six times that of a bloodhound. If this bear wants to find food, he's going to follow that nose until he's got his meal. And bears love sweet things. You always see on TV or read that bears love honey. I'll tell you what, if anybody loves honey, it's the black bear. They will climb up into trees to get bees' nests. They'll rip open old, rotten logs to get to bees' nests. Any way that they can find honey, and they're going to go for it. Uh, these bears are omnivores, which means they'll eat pretty much anything from bugs and slugs scurrying around on the ground, all the way through fish, berries, roots, you name it. If this bear can get its mouth on it, it's fair game. 
And these bears are extremely curious because they're always following their noses. Leave food out in your backyard, leave your garbage improperly secured, and this bear will come and get into your garbage can. And unfortunately, that's one way that people often interact or encounter these bears is right in their backyard. And make sure you properly secure your garbage can lids so you don't find Bucky where he doesn't belong. What a cool encounter, getting this close to a black bear cub. Have you guys ever seen a black bear while out there hiking in the wild? Tell me about it in the comments section below. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.